five, four, three, two, one, sink. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the BrickFeed Podcast. I'm your host, Jonathan Juan. I'm Mesa. I am EXX Trooper. And this is the BrickFeed Podcast, episode 90, recorded the week of February 22nd, 2018. 90 hype! Today no, is 2-2. Two, two, two. Fun fact. Really? Yes. My God. It's, it's what? Two and the what? It's a uh, two twenty-two. Oh, the date! Oh, the, yeah, the date. Yep. And oh. contrary to what you might think, we are not sw- switching to three-person podcasts permanently. Um, just because last week was one and now this week is one. Don't worry, we're not. It's just uh, Vin bailed on us. <laughs> we were yeah, listen, listen. We were not Vin... going to mention that. And then the second we're doing the podcast, now, that's like the first thing you mentioned. Listen, I'm I'm not gonna lie. I'm a little annoyed. I'm a little annoyed that uh, that he he is not here right now. But like, well, huh? you know, what can you do? What can you do? Fire him. That's what you can do. Wow. Uh, I no, but for real though, I, um, we are doing a three man podcast today. But fear not. True believers, um, it will not be forever like this. I'm actually going to remove Vin's thing from this. It will just be the three of us. Look at this. There we go. Um, I'm dying from sickness and eating jelly beans to make myself feel better, which I don't think is medically sound advice. So I'm like a half of a person right now. I'm going to do my best to participate. Yep. I'm half of a functioning person. Oh, okay. That makes sense. So... Thankfully, we have a lot of interesting news today to carry we us got through these dark and trying times. Do we want to just we jump into the news? Let's like, just to. go right into it. We just jump well, I actually right got some I actually news. got some Lego right? this week. I actually got some Lego because we were at Lego Live. I got the Ninjago Battle Pack with Skylar and some Elemental Masters. Oh, uh, dude, I want to hear about that, but I uh, can't do it. <laughs> <laughs> like, I would love to pretend I care, but I can't right now. Cool. Um, I, don't, I don't to know. To be fair, though, they are really cool minifigures, and we did get some cool stuff at LEGO Live. Um, there is, uh, we, we went and saw Black Panther, and so we had to get the Black Panther set. And by we, I mean Ven, who was supposed to be on here to talk about it. But Ven is not here. Uh, so mwah, please feel mwah, free to mwah. tweet him and be like, I don't know, what's, like what, what, that one time we tweeted Meso. What did we say, Meso? Where are you? Where are you? Just at, at the notorious Ven. Where are you? Just do that right now. Are you with your friends, question mark, et cetera, No, no, no. Et <laughs> it's 10 p.m. Do you know where your kids are? Um, we're nice. actually going to be doing our first bit of news here, coming from Brickset and ported on with Toy Fair. Uh, we're going to be talking about uh, Go Brick Me. <coughs> Go Brick Me, the first Which thing is in the news not a, This is not a joke. One this of the few pieces of news from New York Toy Fair, the once proud event, which has now been gutted and left wounded and crippled for the lego fandom to observe why well, what's the deal with toy fair this year was it just kind of like they just weren't feeling it i don't know no i was gonna ask what they've done for anybody who doesn't know they've essentially made it to where the summer sets anything released after april are not on display which was kind of the whole point of new york toy fair used to be it was the place that they would go to publicly unveil their summer wave of set releases to the world and it was a huge both a fan event and an investor event. It was a whole big thing. Not an investor event. Because, you know, like yeah, it was never like invested, a, It was a press event. You get what I mean? It's it a press for. event. Right. The, like Wall Street no Journal longer. and uh, Kotaku and all those other places would make their things about it. Um, now people fly out to New York. I love how I put Wall Street sets. Journal and Kotaku in like the same phrasing. Like they're at the same level of journalistic integrity. It's like, oh, the Wall Street Journal and also Kotaku. No, um, but for real though. In the modern era, people fly out to New York to see the same old sets they can find at Walmart because that makes yeah. tons more sense. Didn't they unveil like that blue boost dragon Ninjago? Yeah, there are a few yes. exceptions. Yeah, there's, there's, some, there's some stuff that they did unveil and we'll be getting to them very soon. But one of the things I did want to talk about initially was 
this brickhead uh, called Go Brick Me. It's coming with a whole slew of parts um, that will actually be able to use to customize your own brickhead. Make yourself in the brickhead form. Um, I actually do appreciate that they have glasses included. Um, to be fair, it, it contains 708 pieces. Um, and I don't know how much it's going to cost. Does anyone actually know? $30. For 700 pieces. Yeah, it's not good. bad at all. I was like, I, I, this is 70 bucks. I'm that is that not day. even not bad. That's literally like twice the like over twice the amount of pieces you should be getting like if yeah. it was 300 parts it would be a good good buy but it's it's not even just 600 it's 700 parts it's an Man. immensely good just it's really good i don't know what it is with brickheads but they're really good buys in terms of just piece count well i mean i, I, I would assume I for this me. one uh, for this one you actually uh you don't need to um i was gonna say you don't need to rely on a license so for the brickheads, possibly it could it could work out very well. The one thing that I'm looking at this though, uh, with the brickhead like the go brick me is um, still not sure what we're gonna do for Asians. Kind of suffer. Like they have that always on the that skin tone. Oh, yeah, but no, I'm, I'm, suffer. I'm, listen, about that, though, listen, Tom, X, you want like listen, a brand X. new color? I do want. Do you a want brand, new, brand color. new color? I want. I do want a brand they, new color. They've never they. They have like flesh, and that's the only color they've done. Anything else that's just been, been based on already existing colors. So I mean, okay, you, you are your. To be fair, when I mean by a brand new color, I mean a color that we haven't gotten in uh, in that form before. Um, I don't. I actually, I've looked on Lego's thing before to see if they do have a color that could represent that skin tone. Um, I think they do have one that was in. There was there was one flesh head that came in the Temple of Arjitsu, like for the dummy. That was a different color than the actual flesh head. I thought might actually work, but I have not seen it in action all too much. So I'll have to get back to you on that. Fair enough. Maybe not a completely new color that Lego has never used before. Maybe it could be a color that they just haven't used for facial stuff before. That being said, um, yeah, I'm. Just, I don't know. I just kind of want. I want that. You know, I want that thing, man. You know, freaking. You know, the if people can get Black Panther. I feel like I can get a brick head. You know what I'm saying? Wow. If people could get Black Panther. I demand skull representation. I, How can exactly. I make a brickhead skull? Let's just there's let's a just, white uh, there's a white one. There's like the apparently there like is. That, that's the it doesn't look one. like a skull because the eyes. How that's can true. I give it the teeth? They for this set though we have like two very obvious new molds. We have they they literally made hipster glasses as an actual piece. Yeah, that's what I was saying beforehand. They made those glasses, and I'm very glad it did. Um. They only fit. I, I'm surprised to. I, I'm going to be looking forward to like seeing what people can do with those. That's not related mm. to brickheads at all. Right. Because someone will figure out to do something crazy with those. Someone just, will just like to build a it. city diorama, and that will be like the centerpiece, and be like, "What piece is that?" And it's like, "Oh, it's the one using brickheads." That's totally. Yeah, the it's, that it's one of those. Here. It'll just be done just to as assert um, Lego building knowledge dominance right across the social medias or something. I don't know, but it, it's there's a lot of parts. Um, you should be able to make some sort of rendition of your friends or yourself or something buying this. Hopefully. Yeah. I want to talk about this next thing so badly. It was the thing that I was most excited for. In fact, we got a press release for it and we couldn't, I couldn't make a video because we were at like a live and I was like, oh, it's a shame. But I'm so excited for this set. I am, of course, talking about. The ultimate, uh, it's not called the ultimate. It is just the Hulkbuster Ultron Edition. A Boom. Can you post that Looking in the chat then? Y'all ready for this? Boom. I, I posted it in the in the thing, man. I got it. No, there's this not there. Check check the, check the check our own private chat, and then you'll see. No, but that's articles. not the one that... The Patreons. That's the one I'm thinking of. They can, they can, they can watch the stream. That's why you have the stream, so you can see what I'm oh, talking about. Oh, okay. I just, I don't know yeah. this dynamic, but yeah, Hulkbuster. It's cool. Yeah, it's the big. Hulkbuster. It's big. Yeah, it's bulky. It's big and bulky. It's got the. I think it really... looks really peculiar. And it... its legs can only like go to the sides and not move front they and back can't at all move. <laughs> this is one of the faults of course that the, with the lego mechs and of course we have heard from designers before that the knee the stress on the knee actually hurt um the posability of the the, the or the the eventuality of the mech i guess the only thing that like the, what i was wondering is that beforehand they did mention that kids um would stress 
the knees when they were playing with him. I don't feel like this is a kid set. I feel like this is a uh, very much a I'm an adult set. Yeah. But fair enough. Yeah, it's, um, it's, it's, it's am I the only one who thinks the torso plating looks really, really, really strange? No, you're not. It does look very strange. It's like strange. Yeah, that fidget, fidget spinner torso. That's all I can see. The proportions in like terms of what the proportions are of the actual Hulkbuster is, it looks kind of weird. Basically. Um, and so I think they would I, I get will, the shape completely right with that size. I will link the uh, image of the Hulkbuster um, as well. And I'll link it for you guys too. Oh, that's a really small image. I didn't expect it to be that small. It looked way bigger. Oh, I did that beforehand. It's like literally. There we go. Okay, that's better. Come on, John. I believe in you. This image of the Hulkbuster that we see here um, is a much. It's much more rounder. Obviously, you know, like you, the chest plating actually looks a bit more like a protruded uh, chest piece. Um, when you look at the actual Hulkbuster um that we got from lego you can see that like it's it's more blocky in the front it's not round it doesn't taper around which is what gave the hulkbuster that kind of dynamic feeling is because it like it tapered to a point with the chest yep right shaping is so off it's it's it really very is. very off and that is the thing that i am a little like miffed about um i'm gonna link to you a uh, a hot toys version of the uh the the suit so you can kind of see that um yeah there you go now that Pretty one much. is a little more it's a little more similar to what we're getting um it's actually but again it's the, the shaping of the i feel it's a chest plate the chest plate comes like it it, it tapers and a triangle it looks more like a triangle and the lego one it looks a bit more not a bit more it looks exactly like a giant square uh that's mm -hmm. what the, the plates end up looking like so that's why it doesn't feel all too uh, too dynamic. But... Lego version looks a bit too chubby, and it doesn't mm -hmm. look as dynamic, and it just like it just kind of looks a bit, bit stiff overall mm -hmm. compared. Now I want to say this: like... uh, Prentice said that uh, he doesn't know why this needs to exist uh, because this, everyone did a good job. Uh, this one is uh, the other Hulkbuster is actually I felt was okay. Um, I totally see the idea behind getting a, a giant uh, exclusive Hulkbuster. I, I mean, we, I mean, look at the Millennium Falcon, right? Like, yeah, we've had a billion Millennium Falcons, but a bigger one is always kind of more welcome. I would have agreed if it looked good. I feel like the one we got prior looks better, and I also feel like the one we were getting with Infinity War looks better. Actually, no, I do think the one we're getting in Infinity War uh, does look really cool. I'm, I'm actually going to even if it is the Ultron one. model. Like, yeah, the Infinity really War one had was really good. Like, I mean, you're. You're seeing, a, um, like you're you're asking about um, that they already have a Hulkbuster out, but they have two medium out, and then they have this one big one as well. So they're they're already kind of spooning them out. These yeah, Hulkbusters, I, I guess like, like the new X Wing of Marvel or something. It's great. The, the new Hulkbuster that we're getting in the Infinity War sets does also look. I think it looks way better than the. Uh, come on, I think it looks way better <laughs> than the one we're actually getting. Um, uh, for the UCS model in terms of the shaping on the chest. Um, and also has gears, like uh, Bonacle. Really? Yeah, like on the back. You can spin like a thingy and then his arm goes like up and down. Better. That being said, I, I don't know, guys. I am just so excited to get an ultimate Marvel set that isn't just a Hellcare, you know? And I love the Hulkbuster. I am very interested in the idea that they're using the Ultron version, even though they have a big blockbuster movie coming out this year. That has this year's. It's probably version. been worked on for quite a while. Uh, I'm, I guess so. It just seems very weird to me that. But it is pretty weird. That. There, there's you a lot of things that's weird about this set. Probably target audience as well because it has a mini figure, even though it doesn't fit one. But I mean, you know, huh. people are gonna people are gonna buy it just for a mini figure at all. But like, it and it's not minifig size, but it has light up pieces that would suggest it's like a place set. It's just it's kind of all over the place. Yeah, right. And I, I feel like if they got the shaping right and they kind of made the model that had some uh, really complex articulation and could pull off some of these cool poses that you see from movies, and it was kind of made as like a statue that you could pose, um, uh, yeah, probably like statue. attached to like a stand or something, so, sort of like a lot of Japanese figures, like go all the it just feels like it didn't go all the way right. uh, Ultimate Collector's Edition. It could have gone further with that. It sort of stopped a little bit uh, like I would have definitely liked what you're saying 
if, if you if we had like a like a like a stand or a uh, a thing to hold it up like you know that was built into this and then you could also add the posability back into the legs and get that thing going i i think that would totally be I, I do think that Lego, if they are going to embrace this collector market, which they totally can, and I think it's worked out very well for them. We'll see how well the Millennium Falcon worked out for them um, later on. And I mean, like, the Millennium Falcon has sold like crazy. Um, it's a very, very high in demand, uh, really awesome set in, in that sense. It's, it's definitely made for collectors. I do think you're right, X. They could have committed all the way. I'm looking at the, the Iron Man minifigure, um, which is the Mark 43 suit that we, again, see in Age of Ultron. Um, this is a new, I believe it's it's a completely new printing, right? It's a new one, but it's but why? very, very similar to another minute. Yeah, why? That, that's what I was saying. It's new, but it's not as new as you would have. <laughs> yeah, there's it's like... new, like, why did this get made? New? I don't know. Right. They just had, like, a comparison. They they needed some sort of, like, exclusive minifigure or something to, to like, sell it, I guess. But I, I don't know. It's it's a weird set. It's kind of all the place. And also the blue pins. I really feel like they could have tried harder. Like yeah. a better solution because those those stick out like a sore thumb, you know. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Will not buy. John might buy. He I might. think John's gonna buy. I don't know. I I, I you know I might. How much is it? One twenty. One twenty. Oh man, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let me consult my accountant and see if we can make something work. Um, I right. do like the idea of the interchangeable arms. Um, I'm gonna just show that yeah. real quick. That that feature is actually very very cool. Um, we see that happen several times in the actual uh, movie where it like where it gets the pew pew arm. Yeah, it gets like pew, you know. Pew. I like that they they built these arms too. That can like attach and detach on a uh, using the, the construction joint. That's really cool. Nice to see them using that. Yeah. But anyhow, um, can you – the way they have these set up, you're able to – like the the function they have, the rubber band, is that going to be able to – are you able to like pull out that fist really quickly? Is that I'm not sure what, or that, what There's probably some sort of function, but I haven't looked or seen. It just it sort of stuck out for me. I'm just like, oh, it's a rubber band. I'm not, I think like if you – if the rubber band is – might be made to, to push the uh, the – the arm you can like like there's that one scene where he's like kind of like punching bruce banner really fast in the head and that might be the feature there um but it is connected to the uh the little the point that that has the uh the connector part so i don't know it was made to like be like a pop-out feature oh nah, now that i'm looking I at it now now that i'm looking at it yeah it probably isn't it probably isn't uh because like yeah. you can see the 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 Axle joint. I gotta learn better names for these. I gotta learn a terminology for them. I know what I'm talking about. I just don't know how to describe it. It's the uh, uh, it's <laughs> along the long two I have the same the circles too. in it. You know what I'm saying? Like you can you can see it. Like I'm zooming into it on the on the thing right now. Like this part. Hold up, not this part. This part right here. People watching the stream, you can totally see what I'm saying. And then center, it's you know it's it's there's a rubber band and it's connected to the. Uh, the the little wheel and then there's another part this kind of like technic rod that i don't really know how to name and it has the the bottom one is flipped to the side and it has the the axle joint anyhow long story short that punches him there we go we're done with that let's move on i loved hearing you what's struggle that was great i saw uh, the stream next? now though I, I know what you're on about okay awesome what's that called I don't remember, man. I don't. Okay. LOL. Okay. Um, there's a new Jurassic World set that got released. My favorite uh. line coming from Lego. Um, Jurassic World. Uh, it is called Indoraptor Rampage at Lockwood Estate. Uh, it features a bunch of a uh, bunch of minifigures from the movie and a black Indoraptor at the Lockwood Estate. It is selling That's... for one thirty. One twenty nine. What a huge spoiler, though, for the movie. <laughs> I know, like this is totally going to be the showdown for the for the the end of the movie, and uh, it has like what a thousand some pieces, thousand nineteen pieces. But I don't know. Looks, it does look. I like the buildings. It just this doesn't look like an iconic building to me because I haven't seen the movie yet, and I honestly don't think it's going to be that iconic in the movie either. There's some stuff I thought was cool, like I when I saw the Infinity War 
thing with Doctor Strange's, you know, apartment and Spider-Man's apartment in one Island. Oh, that's really cool. This one's just like a Victorian level house. I do like the idea that they're doing houses like this, but other than that, kind of okay. Yeah, I mean, if you're into this specific type of houses, then this is probably the gold mine for you, and then you get some cool dinosaurs with it as well. But like, if you're looking for a like very Jurassic World set that has like dinosaurs and like a little bit of jungle and vehicles in it, then like I want my sets to be super Jurassic. Yeah, you know, you know what I mean. I don't know. Like this sort of just looks like a set that is something um, different from the actual dinosaurs. If that makes sense. Since like it makes sense in the context. The dinos are like worse than big figs. Yeah, the dinosaurs are just like I. I get that they're classic. I know that the, like every dinosaur that has been with Lego has been made in this style, um, and so I'm not necessarily knocking the what came before, but I am saying that for now we should have something better than than these. I I just really don't like that. Well, I actually had the same issue with the rhinos and uh, Black Panther uh, and Varn Varn Venge. Yeah. I really like him. I just I don't like the giant bulky plastic pieces you can't use for anything. Uh huh. What my Trevor it's very strong, though. speaking as a non mockist but yeah, I, I can see what you mean. But ah. I will, you, you have on the contrary, though, you have to like kids love dinosaurs and they love like big ferocious animals. So yeah, no, I, 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 I totally guess, get that. I think, I, I, I think they like, should like, still do dinosaurs. I just don't think they should like do these giant like plastic Happy Meal figures. Basically, they're very high quality though. In terms, uh, like, they're not, but I, I know what you mean. They, but they're uh, they're still yeah, I mean, the, plastic. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, listen, they're high quality plastic, totally. Uh, I'm, I'm not going to knock the quality of the plastic used to make them. I'm just saying that, like, my, I have literally, it's the same thing with the big figs. They just are so, they feel like a, a, a Pappy Meals toy, no matter how much you're going to They gonna, don't feel very Lego. Them. Yeah, I, I'm they just, like, like I don't like them either. I'm just saying that, like, people, but when kids they, love them. yeah, they're seeing, yeah, the kids love these dinosaurs. Because I remember when I, when Dino Attack came out, and I just wanted the big sets because I wanted the big dinosaurs. Like it is a very deliberate what they're doing. And I mean we with Crater, we're still getting um creatures of some kind brick built. So there's still hope. They will at some point reach the complexity of these pre molded raptors, you know, at some point. I don't what? know. No, I, I think you have a very good point, X. Wanna move on to the our next thing or Messo, you have anything to say about Jurassic World? Ha, 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 that movie ha, is just ha, it's ha, just ha, nothing ha, ha. i watched it again and like i really enjoyed it when it first came out and i watched it again and i was like you know what this movie is so overrated i saw it what it made i don't think i'm very qualified like, to oh. speak on this front because i've never seen a single jurassic park movie let alone jurassic world but suffice to say i'm more in john's camp of the dinos not interesting me all right let's talk about something else that doesn't interest me but it might interest you guys darth maul um why wow, that, that's a really okay. bad photo of darth maul my bad so that you see from the back construction the has been knocked down to its last legs. There are more sets coming, but there's summer sets, so they weren't shown off here. So the grand total of Toy Fair reveals for construction is one figure, Darth Maul. So I'll be honest, when we saw Darth Maul, I thought it was gonna be very, very difficult to screw up. He might be generic, he might be, you know, another black armored figure with a cape, but you know what? He looks decent. The headpiece is decent. The headpiece is really good, actually, compared to the ever Star Wars headpieces. <laughs> like, I'm, I'm looking yeah. at the headpiece and I'm like, you know what? This looks really good. It actually, looks like, look like it clashes too much. Yeah. So what, what could possibly go wrong? I don't and know. And then we started to get to the 360 turnaround. Darth Maul has custom arms, which is nice. They're Technic built. You can see they're very intricate. He's got a new armor piece that can attach, like the old style of armor pieces. Technic connections or pinholes instead of a socket joint. All well and good. Someone spot the problem. He can't bend. He cannot bend his elbows. No. We have, reg we have regressed 10 years. No. This set is the modern equivalent of an Avmatora. No, you can't. No, <laughs> that, that's a Technic. We had that's to like. Teal. The Lego group had to cancel Bonko because they didn't want to make new molds, you know, and they didn't, I don't know, lots of stuff. I know it just it just feels very backwards that we just, Bonko's canceled, and then we have this guy that has unique built arms in, like, Bonko style with, like, new 
molds and pieces of armor that he didn't really need. There's a new mold for just his neck. Okay, the neck thing. That's the other thing. Guess how that neck that, piece connects. It just loosely stays there. Yeah, the neck piece no, doesn't, doesn't connect. It's the only Lego piece I can think of in recent memory that doesn't have a connection point. It just sits there in between the torso and the head. No, no, hold up, hold up, hold up. I'm putting... That can't... So you, okay, Meso, do you do you actually... You got the set, right? It's not out! Wait, I thought you said... You, okay, no, it I'm sorry. It comes out in April. It's, it's not I, out. I could have sworn last night you were talking about how you got it. My no, not at all. Okay. However, but what was all this like, sacrifice would, for? Okay. I mean, it has I mean, a function, I mean, and that makes everything better. I mean, so BZP I mean, I mean, on Instagram I mean, I mean, taking a video of the function to show how all these sacrifices were justified. Behold, the incredible function. It looks like his lightsaber thing in the middle is about to like snap. It does. Oh, it's like the... boy. He can do I... his lightsaber back and forth. Wow, so incredible. It's not like I... they already had a set recently. The Praetorian I give them Guard. Props for like trying to have because this is some sort of innovation, you know. Because they could have just given, it could have just been another Star Wars figure, but it just seems like the bare minimum, you know. I don't. They're I mean, trying. I, they tried to do a cool function, a set that can't bend its elbows that retails for thirty dollars in twenty eighteen is unforgivable. Yeah, that's that's. It just feels like that. That Unless. function takes so much from the set. Like, the function just, it, was incredible and new and distinct and worth it. But this function has already been done by the Praetorian Guard recently, who had bendable elbows, and the Bionicle 2016 Uniters that all had two-handed weapons that could do this exact same thing using the waist gear. You know, this isn't right. a new that's, that's function. The, that's the one se. thing I'm kind of wondering about is because <coughs> why are they using the, the hands to move at the cost of having elbow articulation as opposed to having the, the waist move itself? We already got that before um with the uh yep uh, i'm, I'm I thinking know. even That's back is like the 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 uniters we got that function and construction so that's all i got to say it looks okay but when you really start to peel it back the the, the um the that gap is again, terrifically yeah. disappointing <laughs> the function uh, is cool but like i feel i feel like they had to sacrifice way too much out of the model to to make the function only semi work i just it didn't feel worth it Compared to like all that they've done to Darth Maul mm -hmm, here, mm -hmm. I don't know. And then yeah, like you pointed out, you can see his lightsaber is like bending too when he does it. It doesn't look like it works well. <laughs> yep. And that's Man. literally all we have for CCBS figures from this year's Toy Fair. There are more. That's it. We'll see them later, but that's it. <laughs> no, that that's right. everything that we saw at Toy Fair. It was one yeah, new yeah. figure. Let, so upset. Can we talk about the Ninjago stuff? Um, yeah, fine. All right. This is you, another really odd case. I'm going. I'm going to need the the link to this one, and I, I'm actually not too sure from what they were BZ Powers told about how this set was going to run. It it's a very interesting concept. Um, I've cracked the code. Don't worry. Okay. Do, do you have the you have the whole thing? Here is the link to BZP's picture gallery. They took extensive pictures of almost every angle of the thing. Now, when I first saw this set, you scroll down, you'll see it's Stormbringer. It looks like I, a Minecraft dragon. I think it looks like one of the worst Ninjago sets ever made in this picture, just from like a design perspective. It looks horrendously clunky and weirdly put together. But there is a reason for it. Essentially, you buy the set, and it comes with two sets of instructions. One set of instructions, you can build this dragon in a super aerodynamic, cool-looking, regular form, or you can take it apart and rebuild it in a blocky, odd-looking form that works with Boost, which I actually find really awesome. This version display is the Boost version. It's a version that's compatible with Boost, but if you don't like how it looks, you do not have to build it this way. There is an alternative method to build it that is actually how it will be advertised. This is its alternate model. Which I find a really, really cool design that thing. That is actually really cool. It's not been done before. And it comes with a sensor too, right? Yep. Is it like a new sensor or one of the older sensors? That I don't know. So here's Sadly. one thing I'm wondering, honestly, Meso. Do you think we would be able to, because we have experience with Boost, would we uh -huh. be able to 
combine that set and boost and come up with a different design for this dragon? Possible, yes. One that maybe doesn't look like as well. The thing that stands out to me, I actually think the dragon looks really cool, except for the legs. The legs, the legs are and what the feet. kills it. <laughs> and the feet, yeah. They're, they the literally kill attached. that set. Um, and like when you when I see what Ven has already done with like Amelia and some of the other sets you're gonna see on the channel pretty soon, of the other mocks that he did with Boost, I'm like, it doesn't have to look like that. Boost can look nope. very very sleek um, and uh, and modern, and doesn't even need to look like it's a Boost set. So I'm wondering if I'm wondering what, if we could change something about that. That being said, I think we um, can definitely do it. I do I do like that idea that what they're doing with Boost, where they can, they're creating add-ons. I think that. it's awesome. I think that's really, really, awesome. really cool. As a concept, it's really cool. And execution, I totally get where people are coming from, where it's like the bottom half of this looks really janky. Um, yeah. But I do think that it is a, a great step. Now, you do need the boost to build the boost version, right? You need boost. Yes, you do. As the you boost need to platform. combine it with boost. But even still, like combining, like again, combining it with the thing in your collection. We did that with the ice tank. Um, yep. We made a, a, a drivable ice tank, so... So I totally support them doing this. I think it's really awesome. I just think maybe they shouldn't advertise this version for the first time people see the set because it gets confusing. Yeah. The only thing is explain it to them. Don't worry, it doesn't actually look like this unless you want to use it with Boost. I can see that being confusing if we were to talk about it at the uh, actual, if we on our on our booth, if we we're like, oh no, there's this set, but you can buy it, combine, and then yada yada yada. Alternate model. Um, additionally, BZP mentions that in addition to the Stormbringer, there will be a city set later this year that would feature the same boost compatibility. Are we allowed to talk about a that Lego now? City? Yeah. Awesome. They mentioned it right there. They, they do mention <coughs> it, and, uh, that is, I'm glad we Do we know if it's a vehicle now. or building? Or... Nope. Um, we do not. We do not know that. Or, or Nate. rather, rather, we have not been told <laughs> anything. Okay. There you go. Well, I'm really, I'm just, I think it's cool that they're sort of opening up for this because we've had Mindstorms and different creator sets uh, throughout time with different cool functions in it, but we never had like a uh, like a base something and then we have like kind of like expansion packs because that's kind of what this is, is that like you can buy yeah, it's DLC, basically. different models for your Lego boost that you already have. So I think that is cool. That's a cool in concept that they're doing that. It's just this dragon doesn't look very good the way they did legs. I just yeah, no, I, I totally agree. And some people were saying that too. And I'm like, as someone who you know, we've worked very closely with with some with some stuff with Boost, and I I I know what can be done with it. I was like, oh, actually, yeah, that's not the best look for what yeah. can be done with it. But I do hope that it's successful enough that they continue the idea because I do love the idea of like you can combine you can buy this one set and you can combine it with all your other Lego sets. And here's instructions on how to do it. Um, and go not to fat. Um, let's talk about the collectible minifigures real quick as well. Um, I want to get through these guys uh, a little bit. They were finally unveiled for uh, Toy Fair on Lego's yeah, official Instagram. Mm -hmm. I sure hope you guys like costumes. <coughs> yes. This is our unicorn. There's an elephant. There is a birthday girl. Should we just go through with them? Uh, birthday one boy. One? Yeah, show us. We'll start with the first one, the unicorn guy. What do you think? Are they all here? They've done that this before, but just as a girl, and it was white. So it's kind of like a gender bent version of what we've already had. So I'd say it's cool. not the most interesting here because we've already had all of these molds before. Yeah, but no, I, I, for I people you. for people collecting, you know, it's pretty cool to have like the male counterpart, I guess. But I think there's more standouts. Elephant lady. Love the elephant. Hilarious. I love elef <laughs> elephant lady just because of that new mouse. That's a brand new yeah, mouse. Yeah, the mouse, the mouse is pretty cool. Cute. I'm not going to lie. I'm it's a little mouse. Um, after that, we got the birthday girl. We got our brand new, another set of like pigtail hair, which is cool. Yeah. And, and, and uh, third version of a balloon. So. Let me ask you this. Do you like, will that have a little hole at the top? That for is the a removable. Hair? Okay. Hat is removable. There's a pin in it, and you can grab awesome. it. Awesome. In that well, case, that will be that would be really awesome to grab a new hair yep. like that. I'm always down for like new hair pieces. Yep. Um. This the birthday boy is this this is a, almost a completely new hair piece. Am I? Comp that's it. That's a brand new hair piece, but it just looks very basic. It just looks like something we already have, but no, it is yeah, brand new hair piece. Yeah, that's what I'm piece. thinking. Well, and I that do... little printed tile is so meta. 
I know, right? I'm actually, what? like, I would like to see that in black. I do like that a lot. Um, That's the hair I used to have when I was younger. I can make Babby Meso. Yeah, <laughs> Babby Meso. It actually does, no, no joke. It looks like Babby Meso getting, like, his first Bionicle set. <laughs> for his birthday i do honestly like this is the closest hair i've seen that kind of like comes uh to what i would like for my my sig fig so if only that comes in black sometime later down the road we'll see if it can happen that's i love the collectible minifigures when they do that so both the birthday girl and the birthday boy have actually done very well here um dragon sick this is cool the is tail is, is old, the wings are old, but that helmet is completely new. And if you switch that out for like just something completely bland, then you have a dragon person. This one is definitely one of the standouts. I'm getting this for yeah, sure. No, no joke. I love purple gonna be in really like you. Purple, purple is really gonna like it. So. <laughs> she, was, she was already like fangirling over it a little bit before we first saw uh, pictures of it. And also, um, why I want to point out though is that this is based on one of the older. Uh, Lego Castle Dragons, which is really cool. That's what I like about a lot of these oh, minifigures here. Oh, they're, they're so like, this yeah, old, homages. Yeah, no, I totally see the that old, The old red, red Dragon, this is literally just a minifigure version of that dragon, which I, I, I think that's very cool. I think that Lego should go completely meta when it comes to these minifigures, because they're, they're, they're kind of getting stale, because we're getting uh, like a new version of this, new version of that, etc. They should have just like do throwback, more throwbacks to like, older themes, like insectoids. Um, mm -hmm. racers, anything, you know. I just mm -hmm. think this is cool. They should do more of this. Let's, uh, let's move on to the number one, uh, Flower Girl, which is a uh, cool in concept, kind of boring, if you ask me. I, I don't think this is a, a good, because like what I like about uh, a bunch of these costumes um, is that they're there's kind of... Because it's, it's really weird uh, in a meta-narrative sense, in, in terms of like Lego dressing up. Because uh, she's basically dressing up as what a flower looks like in real life, but not in the universe that she's in. Like, it doesn't look like a Lego flower. Do, do you know what I'm getting at here? No, I, I Does know it make exactly sense? what you're getting at. Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, so that's she's, why it kind of looks off. I, it looks like the, the dragon is the Lego version of the dragon, and that's why the Lego guy is dressed up like a Lego dragon. This is just shot like a normal, real-life flower, and so it doesn't... The meta aspect isn't there. Totally get it. Uh, the flower pot, I don't know how that... Is that, like, going to be fitted that's around... Probably, that's probably, like, legs attached, and, like, um, like those ballerina... Skirts, you know? Oh, okay, okay. But it does look Probably tilted not. on that photo. You see what I'm saying? It tilted to one side? Am I the only yeah, one but a lot, of, a lot of the ways they, they move the minifigures don't look too right in Fair some enough. of these renders. So, All right, race car. That's a throwback to an old LEGO racer's minifigure. I really figure, like so. this one. This one does Yeah, really and you cool. can easily take out that car and just have it as like an yeah, actual right, as a little racer. car. Mm -hmm. yeah, this, this seems like more fitting to like a child, you know? She, he'd like to be a child. There's a, it's a big running theme with costumes on this this wave. If you guys didn't know, I would have liked that face, but it has the straps on it, and it kind of ruins it for being used for a sig fig. Is that straps? Isn't it just sideburns? Oh, to me, it looks like straps. It doesn't look like sideburns. Uh, I don't know. But we'll get. Maybe. I guess we'll know well, guess, when we'll, we... we'll, we'll figure out when we go. Actually, we can see it. Spider Man. Yeah. Spider Man. This looks like. The new spider mold, but he comes with the old spider mold. Yeah. So this is this is confusing. I don't know. What, yeah. But, but I, Spider Man. I actually, I actually do think it. Like one, I think that this web hoodie shirt is perfect for Ven. Um, I don't know if you want ah, to use that. Ah, like, yeah. Just like the Venom, you know what I'm talking about? The Venom thing. Yeah, like, this is that's, I like it. Great. Yeah, that's a really I, I good think, eye, man. Yeah. Just take those away. That's really cool. I can also <laughs> yeah, see people so, doing stuff with the, the legs that's attached there behind that. But yeah, that's that's a really cool shirt um, for men. Yeah, the legs are, I, that is also perfect for a Venom minifigure. But like, just as like a, for like a, on a costume sense, because it looks like a hoodie, but it has the thing. I'm like, that actually is going to look really good for him. I um, love it. I like to do updated versions of our sig figs coming up soon here. So, um, do we want to run through the other set as well? Um, yeah, that's the okay. whole. That's the whole set. That's so the whole point of this, right? All right, fair yep. enough. Um, Cactus girl, she's she's not based on anything that exists in Lego. She's just Cactus, I love the Cactus girl. girl. Cactus girl for life. She reminds she, me she, of a. Uh, there's a there's a the cactus icon thing. like that in a yeah, yeah yeah or in Final Fantasy I think. Cactus yeah, girl is life's protagonist. Class. The, the weeps know what we're talking about, and you guys are getting your minifigure right here, Hold basically. Up. Let me look it up. You're going to look it up? 
He's gonna look it up. Yeah. I'm okay. Looking it up. Yeah. There we go. Are you big on cactuses? Have you ever tasted? It's called a a cactuar, um, and it looks uh, it looks like, boop, a cactus. It does look like a cactus, but it looks like a wow. I hate that. I hate that so much. Uh, I hate when you copy and paste a thing from Google Images, and it looks like, you know, like the the link is like a forty billion lines long. Basically. Oh, you need to deep link it then. You're terrible. Coco in the um, YouTube chat but pointed all, uh, out a pretty big positive when it comes to this wave is that all the parts are so distinctive and big, so it'll be incredibly easy to feel what you want in bags. That's that true. is true. Uh, oh, that, that's very that's true, actually. You will not be like... Big one yeah. for all you amateurs out there that's really terrible. Amateurs. Doing is there basically. a better way? Is there a better way to feel them than... Oh, you just no. It's just some it? people do it faster than others. Some people stay there for three hours. Some people I have, stay there for 20 I, I, when I first started, I was there for like an hour or two. Now I go down to like maybe fifteen, twenty minutes before I find all the ones I want. Oh, okay. Yeah. Anyway, cactus girl. We don't care about her. She has like a basic face. Face. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Anyway, next one is the big one because this is the new um, super secret mega cool thing because this guy. It's going to be pretty rare because there's only going to be one of him in each box. Oh. Mm, so there's going to be sort of like a um, collectability value to it. That so. is interesting. I actually kind of like that, that they're making a rare one. Because let's be real. If this was like a normal design, I'd be like, oh, that's like what a classic throwback. And I, would, I wouldn't buy it. Yeah, the every single wave, I, I'm pretty – okay, I'm not – I'm 99% sure on this. If I'm wrong, someone will point it out. But in every single minifigures um, series, with like the the box that you sell at retail, uh, have at retail stores with with all the different backs in it, all those will have at least two of the same figure, um, no matter what, at all times, mm -hmm. except for one time when it was the promotion um, with the um, the golden dude, Mr. Guy, Gold, Mr. Gold. And this is the second time that there's been any absolute alterations whatsoever in that this time there's one minifigure there's only guaranteed to be one of in each box. And that well, is that's... this guy, which um, is a... I think he's, he's basically yeah. identical mold with the minifigures. It's just like a throwback to, to one of the first... Um, yeah, first city or police sets. Yeah, really police sets. Identical. And he's got like a, the one set that he's actually featured in mm -hmm. in his hand. So it's, it's, nice. it's, it's pretty classic. meta. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm, I, I don't I like know why episode. I'm I'm complaining about them not doing like these meta minifigures because they're already sort of spitting them out, you know. So well, what's wrong with his next guy? I like his cute birthday cake guy. Oh, uh, yeah. switch, switched out for a girl um, from one of the uh, beach set with the bikini, <laughs> and there you go. Then you have oh a, boy, okay, a completely yeah, okay. different theme. This no, you're going. Just, this would be uh, this is interesting for like a, a wedding figure. Like if you gave it like a wedding present yeah. to someone, and you, yeah, yeah, you, they have a tuxedo, you know, or like or a wedding dress. That would also be a very cool like little iconog iconography. Um, one thing I was actually looking at when it comes to these uh, the head is that hair piece. I'm assuming because it can fit the. It's a brand new hair piece because it has it's like lines, um, more lines, oh, to it. more lines on it. Yeah, that's what I thought. Yeah, it's, we, it is brand I'm, new and it has like the hole in it. So. I wonder, like, see, this like we're we're like I'm I'm looking through all this stuff and being like, oh, this kind of looks like Envy's hair piece is a lot older. It's like the classic. Um, on on you can check his sig fig whenever he's on an episode, but uh, it's, it's like the classic, classic guy. Uh, yeah, and this one could actually work very well as for like a an updated version of him. But I I do like that they're you know again more hair pieces. Awesome. Thanks, Lego. Um, Lego Girl. Brick Girl. Her torso is a brand new piece that attaches to the legs. I, w I, would, I would hope so. <laughs> I, feel, I was like, yeah. I, I've never seen anything like that. I've, I've missed that. I would be sorely surprised. Um, yeah. This this doesn't get any more meta, guys. I don't... I just, <laughs> She's wearing a Lego that? brick, man. I She's yeah, wearing I a Lego brick. She's literally wearing the foundation of her universe as a suit. That the Costume only thing it. that I, I feel is very is I mean I get why they did it because of the scale um normally it's a two by four whenever someone wears a costume by Lego that's the iconic brick is a two by four brick and she's wearing a two by three well she's not that tall so yeah, that's, I know. that's what I, know. They, I think that's I understand I think that's what they determined basically but I 
I think that's what they originally went for. I'm pretty sure there's probably prototypes. Right. Of I'm it, trying to make it. Just, mm -hmm. Yeah. It just, it's unfortunate basically, but I mean, it's a system that they've built on for quite a long time now. There's a uh, bound to be some faults in it given how many years it was invented. Yeah. yeah. Um, so next guy, we have a completely boy, different boy. minifigure. Yeah, completely yeah. different minifigure. Um, not a palette swap at all. Um, Red versus blue, <laughs> I feel, has visited uh, the Lego universe, and uh, you know, um, I, I am, I'm, I guess, I am glad that they didn't do a, uh, a blue and pink one for the boy and girl. That would have been a, like, yeah. a little too easy. I do. So we get more normal colors for hair pieces, though. We do, and one thing I will also say is that I feel like the red brick is a bit more iconic. So I'm, I'm, I'm probably gonna pick up this guy as opposed to the girl, not because of any reason, just because like sexism. You know, because of because I'm sexist because I hate Wonder Woman. Yes, that's why. I heard um, it was a good movie, but all right. But anyway, <laughs> next guy movie. is is the scariest minifigure oh, that we'll ever get. It's oh. a clown. Pennywise, which, what are you doing here? And deep down, I hated that clown. I also hate this clown. I, but I I, I kind of hate the colors. I, I feel like we've never had like kind of clown slash Joker kind of like. Minifigures before, so clownly. Know? Yeah, we've yeah. never had a Joker minifigure before. I've always wondered what a clown yeah, looks like in uniform. Yeah, something along those lines. But yeah, this guy, um, if you switch out what he is in his hands, he instantly becomes um, very creepy. You know, if you switched out those dogs for like knives or something, he'd look quite creepy right, or right. sketchy. Just tongue sticking but, out. That's not a good look. Yeah, there's there's a lot of there's a lot of fun stuff you can do with this minifigure. But I do um, like the balloon animals. That's sure. kind of cool. Yeah, I like that yeah. we're just getting building up sort of a inventory of just normal uh, everyday stuff, but just in right, non licensed, like, not lightsabers yeah. or anything, just normal everyday. Yeah, stuff yeah. So like at some point in time, someone can like make a Lego version of a house and just have all sorts of details everywhere, and it just looks very lifelike because we you just have so many small details like this filled in the entire house, you know. So for a mm -hmm. If you're making a birthday mock with a bunch of small kids, then now you have balloons, and you can have a bunch of these balloon animals everywhere, and it'll, it'll look cool, you know? Um, cat girl. It's a cat yeah. girl, all right. So, uh, what's, uh, what's, up with, uh, what's up with this one, Lego? What's, uh... There are some uh, specially interested people out there that divulge into in some people like activity of, of kinds. Yeah, and, uh, they're they're probably... Obviously. They're they're probably gonna like this minifigure because it has. Um... I, I can just there's 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 several people out of the convention center that are like, oh my god, get get over here! You got to see this! I can't believe they did this. We're actually. <laughs> like yeah, I don't. It's got the collar and it's got. Yeah, the, and to the, be fair, the collars the are like men <laughs> or animals though. Like no, the, it listen, fits I the I told you're right. It totally fits on the theme. But the collar I even just... has like the icon. You know, on I don't want anywhere in detail. I'm, I'm listen. All I'm saying is that that anyone, if, if you don't know what we're hinting at right now, that's fine. Uh, you sweet summer child, you are preserve you your sweet innocence. innocent. Please, um, if you do, then you are. You're having the same reaction as we are. We're like, who did no one did no one at Lego? Was no one there during the? They H made one. They, they, they haven't. They have gone. These to these lengths. Yeah, before, but it's we're like, doing a person wearing the costume. Chima's not the same like, as this. Yeah, this is a different. Some people yeah. like to dress up. Like Chima, you know? Chima is kind of like you know, like uh, like uh, like Thundercats or like Bugs Bunny. They're anthropomorphic, anthropomorphic animals, right? That's cool. You know, like I mean, I'm sure people like, but like I understand why they did that, and I understand that it worked for that theme. This is a person dressing up as a very specific looking animal, <laughs> um, and the animal is made in a certain way, and it's just kind of like. I don't know. I just I feel like that someone at somewhere would have been like, uh, what if we didn't? But maybe what if we didn't? just uh, took maybe this we're just not big in Denmark. Didn't we don't know. Do it. Yeah, I'm gonna pick this up though, just because because of the memory. Nice. I just yeah, no, I I, 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 I actually, have this. I, we do need someone to to beat up in my diorama. I'm kind of. <laughs> oh okay. Um, move in on uh, to our next minifigure. Okay. We have a guy that has half a horse in front of him and a. Uh, Horse tail Centaur coming out man. Centaur man. Um, I, hate... I actually, you know what? I, this is actually really, it's a really creative one. It's a very creative build. Yeah, and it sort of looks like a like a horse. It's it's cute, yeah. but it yeah, still looks. It does look like a classic like a horse. 
and uh, I, I do like that. Like you said, the meta aspect comes in very well here. Yeah, people, um, I guess they just want people to make, like, costume party mocks. That's what I'm getting at. Like, the Halloween this. style? That's the thing. If they had released this around, like, the beginning of October for Halloween, I'd be like, oh, this is a really cool idea. Halloween style. But I guess it, it coincides with, like, the 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 Lego, like... The 40th anniversary of the minifigure, I guess. So that makes sense. But like, even still, yeah. I I think it. But would what be does cool. that that anniversary have to do with costumes? I don't feel like costumes has like been a big big thing throughout Lego. Have, honestly, X, I'm I'm gonna be straight with you. If they had, they they said, hey, this is the big 4-0 of the Lego minifigure. We're gonna give you just high quality normal minifigures. They have no huh. printing. They have like they they have all new hair molds. They have all new faces. They have all new uh t-shirts. You know, like shirts and all and new pants that are printed. Skin tones. All new Asian skin tones, like I'd be like, this is this is it. This is this is what the minifigure is all about. It's about representation. <laughs> I'm sorry, but for real though, um, I would have been really excited to see just normal civilians, um, and the and the Lego minifigure thing. And I get that I'm not everybody, right? Lego's not making it just for me, and maybe some it doesn't excite other people as much, um, and that's why they they thought the gimmick of the costumes would work. But I don't know. Last one, bang bang into the this room. Is this is really great. That head could be really great for your sig, uh, sig fig, John, with yeah, that face and just I was thinking, money raining I was, everywhere else. I was thinking that too. Honestly, I was like, this actually Yeah, and the, the money suit from Batman as well. Mm -hmm. That'd be really great. <laughs> You could, and, you could go if I get that hair piece in black and I get that in the money suit, that's actually going to be my, uh, my, yeah, my cigar identity figure. That would be that's a really gonna... dashing minifigure. I got to get that. that. I, like I don't even know if that's sold anymore in Toys R Us. Is that no longer sold? The Batman. I don't know. I I don't have a Toys R Us around where I live. You know, I'm well, in a different country. Soon, most of us won't either because they just announced ah! 200 stores. Boo! Yeah, we'll Rip talk about that a little bit. Us. Um, how much time we have left? We got a couple minutes left. Let's run through some bits of news. We might not get to the Toys R Us news actually. Um, well, let's talk about Harry Potter. I know we talked. You guys already talked about it, so I'm not going to go too yeah. deep into it. But Meso, you had something. Short legs. I you know say about the. I, Meso, do you know what I have to say mm -hmm. about the short legs? Mm. What I have to say about the short legs is that it makes total sense because these kids are kids. They're not adults. Yeah. The adults would have normal legs because they're adults. Yeah, so if you were creating a theme and you had all but your does normal But does it not decrease not the desirability for all of them to have short legs? Um... Because there are normal figures here with the legs are adults and the these are meant to be kids. Yeah, it's like the, like the Hobbit thing. That being said, um, if the if these were the only like if we're I'm assuming we're getting adult Harry Potter later on, right? We we hopefully will. We yeah, hopefully we're gonna work will. our way up. Uh, I think again. isn't there a collectible minifigure thing that's like rumored yes, to be going around? Hopefully. Yeah. So I would I would say in that one they become adults. Um, in this one I do I feel think like the main reason it perturbs me isn't because I dislike short legs. It's just I don't get why this set is based off philosopher's Phlo stone. Yeah, philosopher's stone or sorcerer's stone. If you're like from if, if the, it was uh, even two years later, the they could just have regular legs and nobody would question it. So here's what but I'm getting at, Meso. Right? Like when I say the crease of value. There's going to be this Harry uh, Harry Potter figure, and there's going to be the normal Harry Potter figure with the normal legs. Which one do you think people are going to get one? Yeah, I mean, like, but if they did have both these figures out, which one do you think is going to be more valuable to people? Which one do you think people are going to go after? Um, The one in the collectible minifigures, whether it has short legs or long legs. <laughs> because collectible enough. minifigures are valuable. <laughs> Right, but um, you know what I'm saying, right? Like, if they, if this I figure, the, if this, this figure had longer legs, people would not want the shorter legs version. It's appearing in the set, and it makes sense for, sense for the set because they're kids, and they're mm -hmm. supposed to be much shorter than the adults. But I do think it would decrease in value compared to now the other Harry Potter minifigures we're gonna get. So yes, I do think it does decrease in value. <laughs> Long story short. All right, right live city audience, we're done. I just felt like memeing the. Okay, thank you. Let's That's go. the only reason I will buy the bring set. it up. I will buy the set because it's Harry Potter and I absolutely love Harry Potter. I just have you actually why it was seen the Harry stuff. Potter movies, Messenac? No, I actually never have. What? What? Yeah, I know. It's, it's for the... Of course, I've seen the Harry Potter movies. Nostalgic value, Messenac. I've seen the Harry Potter movies. Nostalgic relations. I've seen the movies like five times. I've experienced it. I've read the books culture. like eight times, dude. Eight times. To be fair, you might have a you might have him confused with Purple, who just read the. The inside of my Harry book. Potter is my childhood jam. Do you know? <laughs> anyway, go on. Yeah, I mean, like the Harry Potter has been for the longest time, like part of the whole, one of the biggest uh, 
biggest deals. I've learned um, so hey, my much. brother just sent me a text. Um, <laughs> I'll read it to you guys afterwards. I don't think I can say this online, but uh, nice. I don't know why I sent the message that when I can't mention it on the live streams. I'm sorry, guys. Um, it's okay. Let's let's move on to the Toys R Us news real quick before we wrap up. Um, Toys R Us is closing 200 more stores across the Rip globe. Again. Um, this is coming off uh, IDN, who is reporting that they are closing 44% of the stores across the U.S. In addition to the uh, 182 stores they previously announced were going to be closing, they're going to be closing around 380 stores. Um, layoffs are expected to be in excess of $9,000. Oh, no, $9,000 $9, is a little too much. 9,000 uh, people laid off. Um, the company already filed for Chapter 11 bankruptcy last September, um, but they are, still have a lot in debt, and uh, the, they're just not doing well at all. And uh, the, the last Christmas season was not good to them. This coincides with something else that I found, uh, and that is Business Insider reporting that Amazon is creating their own package delivery service to compete with FedEx and UPS. I the reason Amazon why this is important... Amazon sh does two-day shipping if you buy something from Amazon. Now they're going to use it to ship stuff from place to place. So if I want to ship you something X, right now I can go I can go from the USPS, which is a U.S. Postal Service here in America. I can go to FedEx or I can go to UPS. There's going to be another option now. It's going to be Amazon. And uh, hopefully it will be as expedient as their two-day shipping thing is uh, already. Huh. That's neat. We'll have drones showing up on your door like, hey, here's your – Call of Duty or whatever. I well, know. I mean, I, I do think that like – so one thing for me that's always been a big issue, this is why I don't buy from the Lego shop at home because it takes so long if you buy from shop at home to get it to your doorstep. I to pay, For the free shipping, takes about a week. Um, if You can pay for extra shipping, but you have to pay like an extra seven bucks for that. If I buy a set from Amazon, a Lego set from Amazon, it arrives at my door in two days for, for free. You know, because I – oh, not for free because I do pay for Prime, but – I pay for Prime regardless, and Prime is one of the best deals that I have right now, honestly, um, especially as a student because you get it half off. You get $35 a year for two-day shipping. Huh. Yeah. How about that, students? Go get what, them. Not what I'm basically talking them. about, Toys R Us is dying because I feel they haven't properly moved into the online toy market. They haven't shipped stuff nope. around. They haven't been able to capitalize on what needs to be done there. And so for me as a consumer, when I buy my Lego sets, I am buying from the Lego store or I'm buying from Amazon um, or maybe Walmart because I'm there at Walmart. Or Target. Stuff and drive. Yeah, or maybe, maybe Target too. Toys R Us, I don't ever go to Toys R Us unless I mean <laughs> to buy Lego. And if I mean to buy Lego, I'm probably going to go somewhere that can ship me uh, something quicker, uh, kind of sh change the, the entire layout they have at Toys R Us. It's just bad. They don't have any. They could do so many things differently with their with their actual um, layout of the store, but it's just it's dying, and there's there's nothing too much you can do about that. What do you guys Pretty think much. about the feature Toys R Us and Amazon? They're done. It it's seems very rip in peace. From what Amazon I'm has sustainability. Toys R Us is on a slow drip feed of the IV. They're, they're only I feel on. like Toys R Us is on the same um, exact same situation as CCBS. Like it's sort of. It sort of got killed, or it got shot really bad, and now it's just sort of bleeding out slowly over time. You know, yeah, like Massive much. said that uh, the Star once they run out of cool Star Wars figures to sell, CCBS is dead. And uh, once people realize they don't want to go out of their house, Toy Story is gonna die, or something. I don't know. Yeah. yeah. No, I mean, don't like, listen yeah. to me, investors. No, I think the investors are totally right to listen to you. I think Toy Story is 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 dead. It's a dead man walking. And right now they are trying to hold on to as much as they can. Um, but there's just no – I mean you go to their store and you can't really do anything. You can just look at the toys. You know? That was that was okay. When I was a kid, there wasn't any YouTube channels with toys in them. So the best – the closest thing you could come to finding toys would to go to Toys R Us and look around and see, oh, these new toys are coming out, and like, kind of wish you could play with them because your parents couldn't afford to buy you every toy there. Now, if you want a toy, you look it up on YouTube and you watch another kid play with it. So I Pretty feel much. like that that idea of like toys. People, kids used to want to go to Toys R Us. It used to be like the place to go to back when you couldn't find any other place to find, you know, to look at toys. Now mm -hmm. you can, and so that draw is gone, and the the online shipping and all this Toys R Us has just not updated themselves. So there we go. And uh, I think it's going to hurt 
other companies more than it does Lego because Lego has a huge online presence. I feel with Lego Shop mm-hmm. at Home and all the different third-party websites that some somehow or another you can basically get any Lego set you want somewhere on the internet from some sort of price. It's just and when it comes other, to retail, other toys. Hmm? Lego has actually done very well in having a very good retail presence. There's not like there's not many Hasbro and Mattel like shops you know but we do there's a lego store and almost every major city and a, a couple like minor cities as well not in norway though at all but yeah, yeah that's that's fair, cool. that's fair. I'm, i am talking for a u.s audience but uh yeah. like Lego is not going to be hurt by this as much as possibly others will i know like i think mattel or hasbro when they when they declared bankruptcy they got rid of debt like massive amounts of debt that they owed to uh mattel that was like in like the excess of millions of dollars, and it was just kind of insane that they were just kind of like, "Whoops, guess we're bankrupt. Can't pay that now. Sorry, guys." That's probably exactly the reaction and how it, it went. Exactly but yeah. So well, well, people, uh, it's like exclusives. I guess there's not going to be any more Toys R Us exclusives, so that is a thing that like I don't know if they sponsor those. I don't know how the logistics behind those work, but there will not there will be one less exclusive set. That's going to a certain retailer um, going forward if Toys R Us closes. But I mean, rip and piece. <laughs> yep. I, d- I don't really know what else to say about that. But yeah. Do we have anything else we want to talk about before we wrap up? I think we're, I think we're good. done. All right. Thank you guys so much for listening to this episode of the Brickfeed Podcast. Join us next week as we talk more about Lego news, the sets we bought, the cool stuff that Ven bought that he was supposed to be on here to talk about. And uh, yeah, we'll see you all then. Um, you can check us out at our YouTube channel, youtube.com slash your TTV channel. You can go to our patreon.com uh, slash your TTV channel. Um, I said go to our Patreon and listen to the URL at the same time. That was a great breath. Nice. Um, and you can also go to our message boards at board.ttvchannel.com. And there you can kind of discuss all the stuff we talked about today. Talk about how much you want Toys R Us to die in a fire because they have gone the way of the dinosaur. We'll see you guys next week for another episode of the Brickfeed Podcast. I'm John. I am Mesa. I am the XX Trooper. And Hopefully I feel more alive next week. Goodbye. I do I've felt so dead since well, I'm alive, man. I've like I've literally yeah. have to take maybe another week to catch back up. To what happened after I'm alive. So <coughs> See ya.